Good morning, gentlemen. Hope you're well. For those who don't know, I'm Dean Neal. I'm the traditional bricklayer. Good. So the next point, um, we've got to go up the house. It's with coursing. So you can see my course, my new brickwork installed matches coursing with the house, which is all well and good. But when the house is not gauged, we have problems. So look at this, for example. I'm going to go up to there. So we've got spot on. Uh, half courses. So 1,050 brickwork gauge is there, it's half courses. So we're really high. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer that level round to each corner. So how I do that is just make a gauge rod. So I'm gonna make this gauge rod a bit of timber that we found. I'm gonna mark the gauges from the house onto this timber and then I'll take this gauge rod round to my corner and then stick to this house gauge. That way we know it all runs level all through. All you do is mark on that, that is top, so we don't get confused. There she goes. Beautiful. So as I was saying earlier on this extension, it's always good to match coursing. So you can see the way our brick here goes in, bang level. So externally, it looks like the existing just leads the new and runs round. So remember what I'd done earlier, I made a gauge rod, so I took the gauge from the house and applied it on the corner and took my level. So I build my new brickwork to this because the existing brickwork is half coarse, so that's 35 mil high. So I'm sticking to that, so mine goes in all level. However, if you look here, I've gone level with here. You can see where I'm putting me damping to the wall. So we're coursing. Now, watch this. We come closer. Come closer, come round here, see the pencil marks. Now, this brickwork is low to the gauge, the gauge marks. So theoretically, it's half courses. Again, so in the existing build, there's a discrepancy, what we call in terms, there's a pig in it. So I'll tell you how I noticed earlier. Uh, if you come round there and see this header frame, see this header frame there, it matches really the top of that brickwork there. And then when you match the header frame round there, it's up about 25 mil. So something tells me the, um, the wind has even been put in unlevel or on a big bed to level it out. So look, if you come look at this here, on level's length, the window is 10 mil low. I estimate this to be 15 mil low than that. So the problem I've got now is if I match this course in here, we're gonna have it out of level about 20 mil. So fortunately enough, I've got this to hide. Right, this is to hide, so this here it doesn't matter much coursing because you're not going to see it. However, what you will see is when my work comes in true to this work here, this is going to be half coursing. So, the best thing to do is put it on the main face where you see it, so we're running level and let it lose its discrepancy around the back, around the side. It's the only thing you can do, so not everything's plain sailing.
That's it. Good, so we're just going to check her to the gauge and see how she works. So we'll go off the full four of the bed. I'm bang on, a little bit higher on that one, a couple of mil. So she's got me. Good. Excellent. So, we so I'm bang on, a little bit higher on that one, a couple of mil. So she's got me. Good. Excellent. So we're, we're level with the house and then we'll transfer it over. Let's have a look. Stop filming. Good, so we're on top of that full course, let's have a look. Spot on. She's spot on. There you go. Always use gauge rods. There's fucking lasers everywhere. Can't be an old gauge rod. So the only difference now is we'll bang on level, level, level is that dirty corner over there. 
where she's picked up 25, 20 mil to the shipments. Look at the bed joints, it looked like he's massively bumped. Look under the window still there. See how big the joints are, they're exceptionally bigger than the ones this side. So that's that 15 mil. But at the end of the day, it's night time.